You look in the dictionary and there's consistency. Consistency means that over a long period of time, you're, you're doing something. And that's what we're doing here at West Virginia. We're winning championships. We're doing it at the highest level with 20 consecutive NCAA appearances. With my staff, I'm hiring the best in the business, people that know their role, and they're doing everything they can to strive for excellence. West Virginia is headed to the College Cup for the first time in history. You know, the way we travel, we're chartering. The way we treat you in, in dreams work, that facility. You know, strength and conditioning in that way. So you're gonna come to West Virginia and you are gonna be impressed not only with the people, but with the facilities and the way we treat you. We wanna treat you like professionals. WVU has taken down number one. When you leave West Virginia, then you become the standard of excellence in your professional world. When I came to West Virginia, I felt that this team and this school had a family vibes and a family atmosphere. The West Virginia community just welcomed me with open arms. It was exactly what I expected. It was just a family-oriented environment. 20 years ago, I started a program, but what I knew was my family, and what I knew was that I wanted to create a West Virginia family. Victorious. We have more than 40 past and present WVU women's soccer players that have represented their country in some type of national scene, and it is our mission to continue that and make sure that they're ready for their senior teams. Being able to watch two of my own um, is just incredibly, incredibly proud, and I'm so excited that Mountaineer Nation could, could look to those two and, and feel that we're represented in the Olympics. Every time it's a fight, and I just want to represent my school so well and just put on, put on a show, get results, and make this team and the school so much better than it is. What's unique about this school is not only what's on the soccer field, but um, making sure that you get an education. The 2016 Women's MAC Herman Trophy is from West Virginia University, Kadisha. It's the highest award in women's soccer, but when she walked over that stage and she was the best young player in the World Cup, it, I was just so incredibly happy for her and proud for her and also excited that Mountaineer Nation saw one of the best in the business. West Virginia won in 2013, 2014, 2016, and now again the title back to the Mountaineers and Nikki Izzo Brown here in 2018. It's their fourth Big 12 championship title in the last six years. 25 Mountaineers have earned 54 All-American honors since 2000. We have 28 professional athletes right now. 28, that's a huge number. You know, I'll preach all the time about West Virginia family, and, and that's it. The people, the leaders that we're producing throughout this program is just incredible, and I'm so, so impressed. Wow, oh my God, we made it to the final. <laughs> Please welcome to the West Virginia University Sports Hall of Fame, Lisa Stoya. Is he turning into like one of the best D1 schools there is? And Izzo just became my second mom instantly. Just her heart and her energy, I felt it from the beginning. And even my four years, it never let up. So she was just a really genuine person. Like, I think she does a really good job at assessing everyone's individual needs. Like, what they do need, what they don't need. Do they need more tactical? Do they need more technical? Do they need more mom in her? Do they need more school? So I think she does a great job of, like, individualizing her plans for you um, to be the best you are. 
Just do your job, be confident, and keep everybody rolling. We have over 75 academic awards. It's just not a soccer school. You look at Bianca St. George, she was the 2018 COSIDA Academic All-American of the Year for Division I Women's Soccer. This environment allowed her to do that. It could be on the field and off the field, so I think it's very great that people recognize my efforts not only as a soccer player, but as a student athlete. My goal was to give back to West Virginia by um, kind of saying thank you for giving me this opportunity to uh, go to school also. We have people here that want to develop you, not just on the playing field, but off. We have Caroline Sved, and you might know Keisha, you might know Ashley Lawrence, but you also know Caroline because she is in front of a camera every day and representing Mountaineer Nation in the top of her profession right now. And we're, and we're so proud of Caroline and what she did here as a player, but now what she's doing as a professional. At the top of the 18, left footed shot, and it's in the back of the net. She scores on her debut for West Virginia. They're producing opportunities for the players to, to be at a high level. So we're always above average and we're always striving for excellence. One of the biggest things I'll tell recruits, we have incredible fans. Not only do we have numbers of fans, on average we have 1,500 that come out and support us, but they're loud, they're proud, and they're behind us. And it's one of the toughest venues to play in because of Mountaineer Nation. The atmosphere, like what drives me, like so many fans come out to every single home game that we have, which is very, very cool. Off the hand, it is! Not only are you going to go to the Dick DeLess Soccer Stadium, which is an incredible atmosphere to play in, but you're also going to go to Dreams Work, and it's a women's soccer specific facility. The field is beautiful. It's a magnific. Like, I'm in pro. I don't think other facilities just top this one. The women's soccer athlete has everything she needs inside Dreams Work facility, and we feel that we've done that uh, at the highest level. Number one, West Virginia has a stacked lineup. What an incredible run for these Mountaineers, all the way to the national championship game. It's still a year we'll remember for many years to come. Lawrence and the Mountaineers still attacking. A shot from Ashley Lawrence, and we're tied! I give lots of credit to West Virginia. They did a lot of the behind scenes to make sure that I'm able um, to go to my national team, to go to the Olympics, to, to, do, to do what I want. And I think that just speaks volumes of Izzo and her leadership and the staff, uh, Stoya, Marissa, and the list goes on. How hard they work um, every day uh, and how much they invest into the program. People are going to care about you. And I think that's what separates West Virginia University from any other university in the country, is that the people of West Virginia care about you. The one that you create here it will last a lifetime. Takes the shot and buries it. I've been here 20 years. Um, I think I strive for consistency every day and consistency will equal success. You've heard the cliche, those who stay will be champions. So if you want success, if you want a championship, West Virginia women's soccer has produced that.